So over generations, the custom has been and continues to be for the congregation to select from amongst its members three people in particular who stand out for the work they do for the shul or indeed the work they do for the community at large. And the custom is to honor them, to recognize them, um, giving them titles that pertain to what we call the Chatan Torah, that would be the bridegroom of the law, the person who is going to be honored with the final reading of the Torah of that year. The Chatan Bereshit, which would be another person who is going to be honored with the first reading of the new book of Bereshit, and then a lady <coughs> amongst us who receives the Woman of Valor Award. So I, I as the rabbi, have never and never will get involved with who the um, synagogue chooses to honor each year. I leave it up to them. I don't think it's right for me to do so. So it's usually a committee is set up and they decide amongst themselves who they would like to honor. Uh, some people, when they're approached, they turn down the offer, others willingly accept it. Um, some years, I have to tell you that <clears throat> I haven't always been in agreement with who's been selected for whatever reason, uh, but most years they do a pretty good job. This year, however, I think that the synagogue made really three outstanding decisions in the, the people that they chose to represent us. The first gentleman, Al Khatan Torah, is uh, Sean Martel. And what we're going to do is we're now going to go over directly to him uh, at his home in Dala to hear a message from him. For those of you who wish to watch, you can do so by just turning around and watching the screen um, at the back. I'm not sure you're going to hear too much. But um, that is where we're going to receive our message. And for you at home, uh, please uh, pay attention to what it is that Sean would like to um, share with us. I'm very humbled by this year's honoring for Simchat Torah. I'm really appreciative to the religious committee for thinking of me and considering me. I've been involved with Shara Zedek now for three years as a board member, and uh, my history with the uh, institution goes back to my wedding. Got married five years ago to my beautiful wife, Sarah, and Rabbi Bright has since named two of my three daughters with a third one in, in the works. Uh, I, I look forward to the board meetings. I look forward to being involved because this institution is really fantastic. The things we do for our community is really second to none. I mean, in the wake of COVID, the adjustments that we've made to ensure that we can continue providing uh, excellent services to our congregation. It's, it's very nice to see, and it's, it's really an honor and a privilege to be a part of all that. I've been chairing the Legacy Committee now for almost two years, and we look forward to continuing to build a solid future for our institution to make sure that uh, when my kids are ready to get married and have namings and bar and bat mitzvahs and all those things and the generations to come beyond that we want to make sure that this institution stands the test of time and continues to provide those amazing services and that incredible sense of community and caring and love and friendship that we all know so well so once again, I want to say thank you to the Religious Committee. I want to say thank you to Ben Toper, Rabbi Bright, everyone who, who's involved behind the scenes to make this synagogue what it is. And I wish you all a Chag Sameach. Sean, and it seems like uh, only yesterday that uh, you and Sarah um, came into my office to talk to me about your wedding, um, a wedding which was a beautiful, beautiful uh, event, and now, as you pointed out in the video, we're just a few weeks away from doing the uh, naming of your third daughter, and all, you've got a beautiful, beautiful family that you and Sarah have created together. 
It is the synagogue's uh, honor and privilege to appoint you as our Chatam Torah and to present you with this uh, certificate which reads as follows. Since the days of the Gaonim, it has been deemed a great honor to be called on Simchat Torah as a Chatam Torah, a bridegroom of the law. In recognition of this deep concern for the welfare of the congregation and his dedication to the cause of Jewish life in our community, Shari Tzedek Congregation is happy to bestow upon Sean Martel the honor of Chatan Torah. And may it be thy will, O God of our Father's Father in heaven, to protect him and to add unto him many, many more years of bodily health, spiritual strength, years of blessing and achievement, Nachat and happiness, and many, many more daughters to come, please God. <laughs> so, on this Simchat Torah, we recognize you. And I was looking at the words on this um, certificate, Sean, and it really, they really cannot be more apt than to who you are and what you're doing, because the committee that you head up, which is, of course, our legacy committee, it is really there not for today, but for the future the future of Shari Tzedek, the future of the Jewish community, to ensure that as we grow, we are stronger and stronger, and the future uh, is not looked upon with doom, uh, but rather with excitement. And that's because of you and your committee. So we wish you, we wish Sarah, we wish the girls a hearty mazel tov, and we thank you from the bottom of our hearts for your commitment to us to our community and to our community at large. God bless you. <laughs> our Chatan Bereshit honor this year <coughs> goes to Miles Heron. And I'm going to hold my comments till after he's addressed us. There's a couple of things I'd like to say to you when I talk to Frankie. So, Miles, if you'd like to come and stand actually in front here and just turn around to face the camera, then you can address us all. Perfect. Okay. Uh, hi everyone, Chag um, Sameach. It, uh, it's uh, really an honor for me to, to stand here today and accept, uh, accept the honor. Um, I want to thank uh, the Religious Committee, uh, Rabbi Bright Ben Topper, and, and uh, the rest of the staff uh, at the synagogue for, uh, for, continue, for nominating me and, and, also, uh, um, and also putting together an absolutely incredible service uh, throughout the year um, and contributing to our community. Um, in, in, in good times and in bad, uh, including the most recent pandemic. Uh, my history with the, with the synagogue um, goes kind of way, way far back. Um, I would say uh, one of my earliest uh, memories is, is, uh, is having uh, my bar mitzvah and then studying with, uh, with Cantor uh, Yossi Evenhen and, uh, and Rabbi Bright and uh, having a long kind of bar mitzvah service and, and, and presenting to my family and, uh, and friends. Uh, that was really the start of things for me and uh, continued to attend uh, high holiday services with, with uh, mainly my father throughout the years. Um, and more recently, um, my uh, recent fiance and I are going to be married by uh, Rabbi Bright and uh, Cantor Yossi will be there as well. Um, uh, which was supposed to take place uh, earlier this summer, but uh, has been postponed to, uh, to next, next summer um, and will surely take place next summer. Uh, <laughs> so very much looking forward to that and, and continuing, um, continuing the, the Sharon Zedek uh, tradition in that manner. Uh, today, I, I'm involved with the synagogue through, uh, started getting involved with the synagogue through the Finance Committee and uh, Max Brotman. Um, it, uh, it helped, I guess I, I'm, a, I'm an accountant by trade, so I was a way, an easier way for me to kind of jump in and, and, and help the synagogue in, in, in some way. And uh, through my work with the finance committee was asked uh, to, to uh, be a member at large of the board of directors and contribute in a more general fashion to what we're doing here at the Shah Zedek and, and I accepted and I've been on the board for a couple of years now and uh, we've been working on some excellent projects. Uh, more recently, uh, the, the audiovisual live streaming project, which has uh, enabled us to continue to tap into our members and beyond our members uh, f 
but throughout the pandemic, which has been a very difficult time and very difficult for people to reach other people. So it's been uh, exciting to, uh, to be a part of that project as well. I would say that I, I chose to get involved with the synagogue for three reasons. Uh, the first reason is because the synagogue has always been um, a congregation of, of welcoming people, uh, p modest, humble people uh, who just make you feel like, uh, like family. Uh, the second reason would be to give back to, to the community and the Jewish community and to um, really what kind of helped raise me through my bar mitzvah up, up until my wedding and, and beyond that. And uh, the third reason would be to, um, along the lines of, of uh, what Sean mentioned, to um, help contribute to the future of the synagogue. And namely, the most recent audiovisual live streaming project, um, I think brings a lot of excitement. The pandemic in many ways, in most ways, has been very difficult on many people for many reasons, but in, <coughs> in a couple of ways has been um, a positive one in the sense that it's forced us to be innovative and it's advanced us, be, I think, a little bit beyond our years. And now we've been able to implement something that will permanently allow us to tap into a, a wider group and audience of people, uh, both in Montreal and worldwide. And uh, I think this is an important step for the synagogue and will help the synagogue grow tremendously. Um, We'd like to show Rabbi Bright off to as many people as we can <laughs> across the world, and uh, and so I'm very happy to to help to help contribute to to again to the projects that we're working on and to help kind of build that and, and build the future of the synagogue in whatever way I can. Uh, thanks again, everyone, and uh, thanks again. It's going to be like you were on your bar mitzvah. Come and stand next to the rabbi, but not too much. <laughs> I'm sorry if that was traumatic at the time. But, uh, <laughs> you seem to have done okay with it. You know, it's um, you know, as, as the rabbi of the congregation, to see people move through the or families move through their life cycle events. It, you know, it's it's very nice to watch it and to be part of it. But what is the most gratifying is to see how those families and those uh, students um, evolve and what they become. And I have to tell you, when I first heard that you were joining the board, I was, I was so happy. I was elated for a number of reasons. Um, number one, of course, because you, you were one of my Bermuda boys. Um, but number two, it demonstrates to me that the younger people are interested. They care. They're interested about not only what Shari Tzedek means, but about their Judaic heritage. You could easily say, like many do, oh, I'm way too busy, my career, my this, my that. But you didn't, Sean didn't, and there are others. And it shows us off very, very well when the young people want to follow in the footsteps of the elders of the community. And sitting around the table at board meetings and listening to your input, we don't sit around the table anymore, but around the Zoom screen, you know what it's doing. <laughs> listening to, uh, to the input, I, I, I just marvel. I, I just marvel at the ideas and realize Number one, how old I'm getting, okay? Because you're, you're thank you, darling. <laughs> I didn't have to agree with everything you said. <laughs> because it, the, your, your ideas and your thoughts, and not only are you, as you said, an accountant by trade, but I think that it's, it's with your uh, knowledge and uh, working together with Billy that put us in a position where tonight we can celebrate in this way. And I know many of my colleagues are pulling their hair out saying, what are we going to do? How are we going to do things? And with us, it was a very smooth transition. And it was a smooth transition because of people like yourself. So we're eternally, eternally grateful. And I think what makes the relationship so extra special with Shari Selig is because we also want Frankie grow up. I can remember coming here 20 years ago, and there was little Frankie, OK, with, 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 um, uh, with mom and dad and um, Daniel and uh, who am I missing? Yeah. Tara. Yeah. Tara, that's right. Tara. <laughs> Tara. And, and just watching you there in the, in the middle section there on the right hand side, and it's growing, and I used to walk around with the Torah. And here, two of our people are going to make our home together. And I know that while you might be, or while you are, not like, while you are an accountant, a person who deals you know, with the money and, uh, and figures and balancing books every day, 
Uh, I know the true currency of your heart, of course, is Frankie and, the, and your family. And I can think of no better way of balancing your books by starting off your life with Frankie this coming year. And I look so forward to celebrating with you under the Kupa at long last. I know it's been postponed, and I know on one point we had five different dates on the whole. <laughs> with, with the hope that we could just sort of slot it in there in a window, and it didn't work. But you know what, there's a reason that it didn't work. And we have a saying in, in, in Judaism, Gamzulu Tova, that everything happens for the best. And so it's my great privilege this evening to uh, offer you this certificate, which says, Katam Bridegroom of the Law, in recognition for your deep concern for the welfare of the congregation and your dedication to the cause of Jewish life in our community. We at Shari Tzedek are happy to bestow upon you this great honor of Katam Torah. And now, of course, we're going to go over to our Eshet Chayel, our woman of valor, a most uh, worthy, a most worthy honor to a very special, special lady. Um, please, again, once again, turn to the back of the chapel where we're going to go over to Marion Kaplan and receive her message as she receives this award this evening. I am honored to be this year's Sharazetics Woman of Valor. I am humbled to be in the company of so many distinguished women who came before me. I hope that my dedication to the Shul leaves a legacy of commitment to the community for others to follow. When my husband and I decided to join Sharazetic, we were searching for a warm, welcoming, and inclusive synagogue. Right from the start, we knew that we had found our Shul home. When I was approached to join the Board of Directors and accepted the opportunity, I was unsure of what, journey, what the journey would bring. What I found was an incredibly rewarding experience. I have met a group of some of the most warm-hearted and thoughtful people who have been so generous with their time, expertise, and friendship. Little did I know how much of an impact it would have on my life. When my husband Laz passed away suddenly, I was discovering that my home away from home was the shul. My shul home surrounded me with support, friendship, warmth, and compassion that helped me get through a very rough time. For that, I am eternally grateful. Shortly after joining the board of directors, Judy Pell and I became co-chairs of the program committee. We brought to you two medical forums which were highly successful one on heart disease and the other on Alzheimer's and dementia. This year, we had a Zoom program dealing with the emotional side of COVID-19. We hope to continue this series in the near future. As Vice President of the Board of Directors and its Human Resources Chair, I continue to give back to the Shul, which has given me so much. When I needed the Shul, it was there for me and continues to do so. I encourage each of you to support your shul so that together we can ensure it is there for you and for future generations in both your time of celebration and need. Please get involved in some aspects of the shul's activities and see what a rewarding experience it can be. I can assure you that you will get out of the experience far more than you give. Chag Sameach. Marion, you know there is a reference in the Torah when Moses is told by God to build an ark. He's given the instructions by God how to build the ark. And the Torah tells us that it will be made, the box 
not like the arts we have today, but there was a, it was a box made out of wood. And then the Torah tells us something very strange. It says, which means from inside and from outside it shall be covered. But what should it be covered with? It should be covered with gold. Now, while we can understand why it should be covered on the outside with gold, is so that when people would see it, they would see the magnificence and the beauty of uh, this, uh, this, uh, this ark, uh, which, on which we are told that God's Shekhinah, that God's providence would rest. But the question one has to ask is, why would we be told to cover it on the inside with gold as well? After all, nobody, nobody would see the inside of that, except perhaps the high priest, and then only once a year on Yom Kippur, when he went into the Holies of Holies. So the question is why? We know why the outside, but we don't know why the inside. And our commentators teach us that one of the reasons is a very important lesson that we can learn and take away today about who we are as people. And that is because God wants us to, wanted us to understand that we need to be the same beauty on the inside that we display on the outside. It is not just on the outside people see us and we should be dressed in, in, in a beautiful way, but it is equally as important that on the inside you be the same, you look the same, and you be the same, and you act the same. So there's no, there's no differential. And the reason that I say, give you this this evening is because after getting to know you, I believe that is exactly who you are. You are as beautiful on the inside as you are on the outside, in the way you interact with people. Yes, you are on our board of directors, and you are an incredible asset to the synagogue. Yes, you were the one who was responsible for dressing our bima on the holidays to make it look so beautiful in a very trying time. But you hold a very, very important role, and that is you are in charge or the head of our HR committee. And the way that you interact with people the dignity, not only that you bring to the job, but the way you actually are dignified in the dealing with, with those who you come across each and every day, is a lesson for all of us to follow. I got to know you, and I got to know Laz, Allah wa Shalom, when you joined the synagogue. But it was only on a cursory level. Tragically and painfully, when Laz passed away, we got to know each other a little bit better on the sad times. But you were as dignified then while you were hurting on the inside as you are every other time. You showed us all how to carry yourself in times of crisis. Know that you are loved, know that you are respected, and know how grateful we are to both you and the late Laz Allah Shalom for choosing Shari Tzedek as your home and a place where to place your destiny. It is an incredible honor for me as your rabbi to present to you this evening this certificate which attests to the fact that from all the ladies in the congregation this year Shari Tzedek has chosen you as our Eshet Chayim. It says, may he who bless our mothers, Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah, bless you, this gracious lady, Marianne Kaplan, who has faithfully occupied herself with the needs of our congregation, and whom we would at this day honor with the title, Eshet Chayu. May it be thy will to our, of our Father in heaven to protect her and add unto her many more years of bodily health and spiritual strength, years of blessing and achievement, nachat and happiness. Amen. 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 Before, um, before I let you go, I want to make one other comment. And 
I remember very clearly some of the stories that not only did Larry share with us, but that you shared with us about your times together when Laz was the chairman of Pratt & Whitney Canada and how you were behind the scenes, the person who, who was creative in putting together and keeping him in check to make sure he got where he needed to go and things that were all properly organized in his life. There is a saying that's found in the book of Mishle, a saying which I believe is the greatest comment, the greatest um, acknowledgement that any family can say to their mother and their wife. And I, I'm not sure, I hope that your daughters are on with us this evening watching this. The, it's found in the book of Mishle 32, where the author says, Kamu voneha vayashruha, which means and her children rise up and consider themselves blessed. Blessed because she is their mother. And like they consider themselves blessed that you are their mother, we consider ourselves blessed that you are part of our congregation. God bless you. And I look forward to continue working with you for many more years to come.